I'm Cole Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost and I'm here today we're doing a burn it's towards the end of March we're gonna burn off a uh, Indian grass field that we combine seed off of last fall we're burning about 120 acres here today and there'll be two of us doing this control burn but we got pretty safe conditions because of the rain yesterday we've really been watching the weather waiting for a good day it's a big burn a lot of big tall grass we'll have flames going 20 foot tall today we actually had an inch of rain about probably six hours ago now this morning it rained rained hard and then it cleared off and native grass doesn't take long to dry out we got a little breeze humidity is probably about 60 percent diverse natives for grazing they need fire periodically we recommend about at least every three to ten years somewhere and there you burn at least a portion of your patch so every ten you've got over your whole patch that helps seeds on the ground and reduces the fuel and it gets that nutrient release but seeds need bare ground to grow a little bit if it's always looks like this that's great for wildlife some of the time but they need them bare spots to go and your seeds need a way to come up and get sunlight here in a bit we're going to light off the big field and let it burn There's a lot of ash left and a lot of stubble left on the ground. It looks black today. You wait for a rain and almost turn brown again because there's going to be a lot of stuff down there that didn't burn. And the reason we like that is it keeps the ground covered. It keeps us from losing our soil. The raindrop hitting the ground, there's still trash on the ground. But that ash is full of a lot of nutrients and uh, minerals. It uh, helps your grass grow better, greener. Next year, it actually improves weight gain on cattle if you burn your grass every now and then from that mineral nutrient release that your grass gets to use. Fire is a real good tool. It doesn't take much fuel. It doesn't take much time to go burn fields compared to other conventional ways of bush hogging, that kind of stuff. And as you can see with how the fire we're getting here today, you know, sprouts are not going to come on in these fields. And, uh, it's just a lot easier way to do it than it is to bush hog it all the time or go out there and cut sprouts and treat them or use chemical to kill them out of your pastures. You can, you can maintain a nice open brush free pasture. You can even reclaim a lot of pastures as long as your brush hasn't gotten 8, 10 foot tall getting away from you. You can, you can come back and reclaim those with just fire. Uh, MDC puts on some burn workshops uh, around over the area. You gotta get, I think they talk about them in the Missouri Conservation Magazine, or I'm sure you can find them online, see where they're gonna be. Some of them are classroom environment, some of them they actually go out and do a controlled burn, but they're, they're a good way to get yourself started burning. 